The sun is like pissing me off. I have to like hold the book all the way out here for there to be no glare. Hello and welcome to yet another reading vlog. This time around it is a weekend reading vlog because I was too lazy to film during the week and I'm suddenly having motivation so. It's Friday, October 23rd, 2020 right now around 12 o'clock. I've been off work for like three hours. I start at 7 a.m., finish at 9 a.m. and then go back three to six. I work at an after school, before school program. Besides the point, reading vlog, that's what this is. So we're gonna talk about reading. I am currently reading There Will Come a Darkness by Caddy Rose Poole and I am like 320 pages in right now, which is like chapter 40 something and I am not really liking it honestly I'm finding it really boring I am not the biggest fantasy reader and when I do read fantasy I need it to be like super addictive and like a story where I don't want to put it down or I just don't care and that's one of these like I just finished Where Dreams Descend and I was obsessed with that book I give it a five out of five stars another book that I thought was like super addictive Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpatro I don't know what my like need in fantasy books is but there's just like certain things that I need the book to have for me to enjoy it and this just doesn't have it I honestly don't even really know what this book is about um and that's saying something when I'm 320 pages in and I just don't really know what's going on from what I understand though it's like a prophecy was given but then the person who gave the prophecy disappeared or something like that and now all of a sudden the prophecy is coming true and it's like these five people that are somehow connected to this prophecy are all like coming together so the prophecy is going to be fulfilled. I don't know. I'm confused. I just, I don't care about this book. Like, I honestly think that it's probably going to be a three out of five stars. I wasn't invested whatsoever, but then it turns out this story is gay. Oh, now I'm kind of intrigued, kind of wanting to know more. Probably going to finish this tonight since I literally have nothing to do after I'm done work. So I'm gonna fly through this hopefully and I'll give you an update on what I think of it after that. But like, I'm just bored. And a lot of people who I've talked to about this book have said the same thing that they thought the concept was really cool but the execution was just not there the only person who i think really enjoyed this book was madison from paperback princess was the only person i've seen like really enjoy it other than that like not the best reviews so i don't know why i thought that i was gonna love it but not a fan so far I've also been reading Deep Betrayal by Anne Greenwood Brown. This is like a mermaid book. It is the second book to Lies Beneath, which I read back in like 2015. So I'm only like 60 pages in, literally 60 pages in. And I'm just trying to like figure out who the characters are again and like what happened in the first book because I honestly don't remember since it was in 2015. All I know is that it's killer mermaids. I also don't think I really enjoyed the first book that much. I think I gave it a three out of five stars and usually when I give a book three stars or less I like get rid of it in an on haul but I have the three books in the trilogy. I think I just didn't want to get rid of the first book when I still have the other two books but I'm probably gonna end up reading this one and then the third book and just get rid of the whole trilogy. All I remember from the first book is that it's Killer Mermaids and that the main man merman guy was super creepy and i didn't like him and he like stalked the girl and that's all i can remember i was not a fan why i kept the second and third book i don't know probably just because i have it on my shelf and i can't get rid of things without reading them because i'm weird that way but yeah so 60 pages into this i'm probably gonna read more of it once i'm done this one the reason i'm reading this one is because i have the second book on netgalley arc widget thing so i need to read the first one obviously to read the second one but like i'm honestly like not loving it like i said so yeah that's the plan this one then this one i need to go eat lunch and then i have to go back to work so it's now eight o'clock on friday night there's a huge thunderstorm going on right now so if you hear thunder or see a flash it's lightning yay love that i finished oh see lightning <laughs> So I finished There Will Come a Darkness um, like 10 minutes ago and I gave it a 3 out of 5 star. Like I said in the previous clips, it was just missing what I like in a fantasy. Not that I know what the quality is that I like in a fantasy. I just need them to be addictive and not 
making me want to put it down but this one I just didn't care about the characters I didn't care about the story I didn't care about like anything so I thought it was like super average so I gave it three out of five stars but I'm going to start more of it deep betrayal because you know it's pouring so there's not really much else to do this time around hi mom hi what are you doing um vlogging you're vlogging mm -hmm. I was coming up to say we love a good thunderstorm don't we so I'm going to just be reading The Deep Betrayal for the rest of the night until like 10 o'clock when I go to bed because I'm an old lady and I'm tired, but I'm like on page 77. Not a lot is happening. I can't really talk about what's happening because it's the second book in a series. So just know I still don't like this series. It's now Saturday and I got something super exciting in the mail yesterday that I wanted to share with you guys because it has a super fun giveaway for you guys as well, but I got a box that says the maverick on my front porch and it has a bunch of goodies inside so i figured i would unbox it for you guys and then talk about a giveaway that the author of the maverick is hosting on my channel which is super exciting so stay tuned for that if you're interested i know i am because the book sounds really good okay so i'll just open it up for you guys it has a cute little ribbon that says the maverick on it and it says thank you with confetti paper super exciting i'll talk about the book first because the box has a bunch of like little goodies in it that you know don't really make sense unless you see what the book is so the book is the maverick by jennifer valenti this is the first book in a series of seven so there's a lot more if you like this book this is her debut novel is about a girl named Jane who is looking to get into the tech industry. She ends up getting her big break in a company and she is invited to their holiday party. She thinks that this is her chance to, you know, make it big in the company and then she ends up in the hotel room with the CEO of the company named Peter and a drunken misunderstanding leads to a very brutal, violent sexual assault and it's her dealing with that. All seven books are very strongly related to the Me Too movement, so I'm very intrigued by this. I think it's gonna be really good. I think that it's her like getting revenge on this Peter guy. I'm not 100% sure, obviously, because I haven't read the book yet, but I'm really freaking excited to read the book, which actually leads me to a super exciting announcement for all of you guys. I'm actually hosting a giveaway on this channel for a signed copy of The Maverick from the author. If you are interested, I will leave all the information down below on what you guys need to do in order to enter. There's only three requirements. One, you need to follow the author on Instagram. I'll leave it down below. Sign up for her newsletter. I'll also leave that link down below. And then you need to follow me or subscribe to me on this channel and head on over to my Twitter, retweet that tweet and follow me there. That's it. So sign up for the newsletter, follow the Instagram, follow me on Twitter, retweet that tweet and subscribe down below and you can win a copy of The Maverick for yourself, which I like I said, things sounds really, really freaking cool. So I definitely recommend you enter this giveaway ASAP. I think that I'm going to have the giveaway open until like December 1st because I need to give the winner to the publisher by December 7th. So December 1st, 11.59, this giveaway is going to be over. So definitely head on over to my Twitter, retweet that tweet so that you can enter. And now to unbox the rest of the box, which again, I am so excited about. So the first thing that came in the package was like this little cute purple polka dot uh, container, which we all know I'm a big fan of purple. So I was really excited. Everything in this box is purple. So I'm assuming that that's just because, you know, the book is also purple, but I'm going to pretend that it's because the author knew I really like purple. But the first thing that came in the little purple package were I Love New York coasters. There's four of them. And then on the back side, it says The Maverick, book one. I'm still like shocked that there is seven books in this series. I'm really hoping that this first one is amazing so that I, you know, can freaking love the rest of the six books in the series. The next thing in the box was a postcard and a little information card that basically explains that the author wants us to write what we stand for and they're going to feature it in the world premiere of the Jane Valanti series trailer next March and we have to mail this back to 
the author for that to be included, which is a really cool thing for them to include, I think. It also comes with four character cards for, I'm assuming, characters in this book, and it says their superpower, their background, their hometown, and a quote from the Maverick. There's postcards for Aaron, Allie, Carmen, and Jane. There's a hacker, a defender, an executioner, and a spy, so I mean, that sounds really interesting. I assumed that it was going to be like a modern story, but if there's spies and executioners, I'm here for it. I hope men get executed. Is that bad to say on the internet? I don't know. I'm here for it though. Then there is another package, which includes some sticky notes, a sticker, and a lot of bookmarks, which have the characters names on the back again so I guess you can pick your favorite and then a fancy bookmark that also has the characters names on the back which I am a big fan of tassel bookmarks it's also signed by the author so that's really cool and the next thing in the box was a notebook it says the Jane Volante series it also comes with a pen that also says the Jane Volante series I am a big fan of notebooks it's just like a regular lined paper one I write in notebooks all the time for my diary yes I am 24 and have a diary okay I just like to look back on my life reading my diaries from when I was like eight years old is the funniest thing to me so now I have another one that I can fill up which is awesome because I can never have too many of them and then the last three things are three little packages the purple one will go with first because why not purple is the best color so that's what we're going with but it has two different loose sleeve tea packages the one is red raspberry the second is orange pico i don't drink tea so i'm going to end up giving this to my friend abby who you guys have all seen none of you care what i'm doing with this but i'm gonna give it to her for christmas last year i gave her like a loose leaf tea strainer thing so anytime i get these in the mail because a lot of bookish things always send tea I always end up giving them to her because she's gonna use them and I'm not. Then the next package is a little blue bag. It has a bracelet inside that says just breathe and it has a little note that goes with it about anxiety disorders and it talks about how if you're feeling anxious then you can look down at this bracelet and just breathe so I think that's actually like a really cool thing I'm hoping that the book has anxiety rep in it if that they're talking about you know anxiety disorders in a card that makes me think that there's gonna be some representation which we love on this channel and then the final one that I am probably the most excited about is this little bag that has a the maverick candle in it and it smells so freaking good and it has like some dead flowers on top but it's orange and lavender scent. There's also another one that I guess you could have got that was honeysuckle and rose. I'm a big fan of orange and I'm a big fan of lavender, so I'm excited about it. And then it also came with some matches that says, thank you, love, Jen, which I think like this box was so cute and honestly, a lot of thought was put into it. Like I said, there's a giveaway going on down below. Definitely check it out if you are interested in getting your own copy of the Maverick. I highly recommend it even though I haven't read it yet just based off of this box. I'm really hoping it's a good time so go down below, link in the description, go retweet that tweet so you can win your own. Also just want to say thank you to Jen for sending me this box like I was just expecting a book so to have all these goodies to get to play around with is really exciting so thank you so much. Link down in the description, get that giveaway up. Going. I guess I should tell you like my reading plans for the day. So I'm still reading Deep Betrayal. I am like 170 pages in. There's 333 pages so I'm halfway through. The goal is to finish this book by the end of the day. I still am not enjoying it. It's a very toxic relationship and I just am not a fan of toxic relationships because I've been in plenty of them and I'm just over it at this point. We like a healthy, mature, happy relationship like we're in now. So, you know, we want our books to reflect that so we don't go back to negative things, you know? That's the goal for today. Finish this book. It is currently 12 46 p.m so we have a lot of time it's now sunday at 10 30 i finished 
deep betrayal last night. Give it a two out of five stars. Like I said throughout this entire video, I was not the biggest fan. The ending was really dumb. I'm probably gonna pick up the third book, Promise Bound, just because I have it on my shelf. But then once I'm done, I'm gonna get rid of the whole trilogy because I'm not a fan, so I do not need it on my shelf. Um, I also started Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse yesterday. I'm about 115 pages into it. I like it. It's an epic fantasy, which I don't usually read epic fantasies because they're just very complicated and your girl's brain is not that smart to understand epic fantasies. There's like something about the solstice and like the moon or the sun or something that are happening on the same day and like that means that danger's coming and there's a blind dude who is like a descendant of a crow or something or he's gonna turn into a crow god and then there's a sun priestess and they're like gonna battle something like that there's also a mermaid honestly i don't know what is happening my brain is too small for epic fantasies and everybody freaking loves this book and i'm just sitting here so confused with what's happening so i just feel like epic fantasies are not for me but everybody gives this book five out of five stars the morning is going to be for reading black sun and then at 12 i'm going to go see will i don't know what we're doing he's going to be working midnights which means he's going to be sleeping most of the day so a lot of reading is going to get done next week so maybe a reading vlog will happen next week's my birthday as well on October 29th so I'm really excited <laughs> Stop. Hi. Hi Why are you crying? Because there was a corgi It was a, it was a corgi mix He's so fluffy He's so fluffy I'm gonna die <laughs> That's what Jay thinks every time she sees a corgi It's so cute What are we doing? Walking. Where are we walking? Oh. We're walking in the Apsnow oh, Conservation gonna... Area I'm gonna go for a quick walk Look at all the fall colors and then uh, make Jay not cry anymore. So cute. Oh, look, who gave you photos? Okay, say bye. Bye. What are you doing? We're stomping through folklore. <laughs> and for the people who don't know who that, what that is? Everybody knows who Taylor Swift is. Yeah, but they don't know who folklore is. Oh, well, folklore is Taylor Swift's new album, and she's in the forest. Yeah, wow, you're the most beautiful thing in this whole forest. Look at you. Oh my god. Not Just like a corgi was the most beautiful You're looking like thing. a snack. Nope. Pretty soon I'm going to nap right here. Going to nap in the thing? Yeah, look. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Just don't get dirty cuz then I won't hear the end of you getting your sweater all dirty. Oh. It's like a little hobbit. I'm a gnome. <laughs> You're a gnome. You're like 7 feet tall for a gnome. I'm a gnome. I'm I once went course. to a diabetes camp where we made some of these, but we made them like weather resistant I guess and we camped out in them overnight. Are you diabetic? <laughs> Sorry I had to. No you didn't. Yes I did. Oh, I thought mm. I wrecked it. No. We're gonna go walking at my house. No we're not. Oh, why? Because he lives on a hill and it's muddy and I have white shoes on and I don't want them to die. I told her I won't let her fall and her shoes won't get dirty. Yes they will. No they won't. I can also give you shoes. Your feet are ginormous. I can give you some of my mom's shoes. Your mom's feet are small. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I was jumping because the bridge can only take 5,000 pounds. So I'm going to see if we can kill ourselves. We're like <laughs> 200 pounds together soaking wet. I have dyscalculia. I can't just add things. You need to do better at math. I can't help it. Yes, you can. <laughs> Where did all this energy suddenly come from? What song is that? Um, the pop goes weasel. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I had to sing it <laughs> extra. What you doing? Making it make noise. Do it. I'm not doing it now. I broke it. You broke the tree. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. No, it went. <laughs> what was it doing? <laughs> It doesn't do it anymore. Well, because you broke it. I know. Don't you dare cross that bridge. Why? Because I'm not fishing you out of the river. Don't do it. So she does it. Mm -hmm. oh. you, expect, ah. you expecting me to come with you? I'm good. I'm good. Ooh, that one was a little wobbly. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. Why are you running? Stop. 
I'm short <laughs> and my pants are gonna fall down if I run. Well, we're about. <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs>